Hi everyone, this is Emily from the Children's Literature Training Academy. I have a great book here I wanted to show you, flip through, and recommend. This is a children's science themed book, a nonfiction book. It won the 2001 um, Northern Lights Steam Award for one of the best science book books. It's a beautifully illustrated book by Michael Holland and Philip Giordano. Um, perfect book for teachers, for developing science lessons around it, for parents or homeschooling parents to kind of go through with kids. You can make lessons out of this book. Great for kids who are interested in the natural world just to look at and read and explore for themselves. Um, I believe it's even made out of recycled materials as well. It's very light, incredibly light. This book, I Eat Sunshine for Breakfast, a celebration of plants around the world. It's light but thick. Um, absolutely gorgeous by Flying Eye Books. And um, I teach, my son is actually a fifth grade teacher and I bought this for him after going through all the library reviews and teacher review blogs, looking for some of the best books of the year um, to pick a few to gift him for Christmas to use for his classroom. So I wanted to show them to you here before I give them to him. Um, so it's broken down into topics like all about plants, world of plants, um, the power of plants, what's, what are plants used for, for technology, for hunting, for fighting, for healing green, um, talks about pollution, a lot of the green earth, natural, um, kind of the whole recycling of plants, um, how to live more green friendly, um, talks about um, eating plants, um, food that we eat made out of plants, talks about the plant kingdom, um, weather, um, environment, how it plays into plants growing, what is plants, and what I love about it is it's this beautiful map book, and it's all done in little snippets. So we have like, for example, plants are essential to your world. Without them, no other living thing would be able to survive. This book will help you become more acquainted with your leafy neighbors, from how they grow to fossilization and everything in between. With over 400,000 species on our planet to discover, let's learn all about these organisms. The artwork is amazing, and we have little facts in these boxes. Um, if you're a teacher or a homeschool parent, you can arrange a lesson around this, introducing to kids why plants are important, why plants matter, why they're important to our bodies, why they're important to the planet. Uh, every single day and in every single way we use plants. From the food we eat and the cars we drive to the medicines we take and the clothes we wear, we would not be able to live without plants. So it's important, I think, for kids to understand the importance of plants. Um, at this very moment, you're holding a book made from plants and not just one plant, many plants. The pages and covers of this book are made from a mixture of two types of tree, birch tree and pine tree. The words you're reading are printed from ink made from soybeans and flax oil. Plants touched almost every aspect of our lives. There's 428,000 species of plants and you'll learn all about them in this book. So that's what I think is really cool. Um, you actually learn even about how the book is made. We have introduction to what is a plant. Uh, you can do an introduction to kids. You can put this on your overhead projector to show it to your classroom. You can go over it with your kids in your homeschool classroom. You can photocopy it. You can walk around the classroom and show it to kids. And we have different parts of the plant. We have um, leaves, their importance, what they're used for. And there's a lot of these DIY do-it-yourself um, projects in here as well for science projects, which is another reason it's great for homeschool and great for learning. All the things that flowers are important for and what they help power, parts of a flower, um, how flowers are pollinated. Here's how to do your own wild weed bottle garden. The birth of plants, seeds on the move, a game out of plants, living fossils, world of plants, all about the plant kingdom. This includes vegetables and fruits, happy plant families. Here's how to make your own plant slime, evolution in plants, life in extreme hot and cold or dry and wet climates, jungle climates, water environments. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at these pages. Absolutely beautiful plant tricks. 
more experiments, growing corn, food chains and food webs. It's a trap. I ate sunshine for breakfast and so did you. This is my favorite. While you eat your breakfast, millions of other meals are taking place in your garden, street, neighborhood, and down the back of your sofa. From microbes to invertebrates, small mammals and birds, everyone has to eat something. If you happen to eat a bowl of breakfast this morning, cereal this morning, then you basically ate a whole load of mashed up grass seed. Perhaps maize, wheat, oats, rye, rice. Most of them include some sugar, either from sugar cane, sugar beets. You may have had some toast with butter and jam on it for your morning meal. If so, you ate some wheat, maybe rye, oat, or barley some strawberries and raspberries, some sugar, maybe oil from either plants or animals. This would be your food, your breakfast in food chain form. Plant juice, brushing your teeth, brushing with bamboo, how to be more green friendly, more projects, more projects, going backward. Sweet and sour smells from plants. Instruments made from plants, sports materials made from plants, more projects, the power of plants, plant technology, potato power plants, ink, green healing, absolutely gorgeous book, taking care of plants, pollution, I can see why this book won the award for one of the best science books of the year for kids. It's also very earth friendly, green friendly. There's a whole glossary in the back of words you could use to make for vocabulary or spelling for your science lessons for your classroom or your kids. Or if you um, just know a child that loves the natural world and science, this would be a gorgeous gift. So, um, absolutely recommend it. It is only $10.99 on Amazon. It's very affordable right now. I will link this book below if you want to check out this book or gift it to one of your kids or use it in your homeschool classroom. I hope you enjoy it. And I have another video of two large science atlases I'm going to record and I'm going to release that video in the next day or two. So definitely if you haven't subscribed, do so. Check back and keep an eye out for those books.